Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna be going through Variant 6, Chapter 2, Quest Number 1. And it's gonna be a fun time. Now, if you see the team that I've chosen to go in here with, you'll see that I'm going in here with Rhino. And you may ask yourself why. Well, let's take a look at the buffs here. So monster means every time I go unstoppable or unblockable, I'm going to put a passive regen on myself. So I'm healing. And beast says that every time I trigger that unstoppable or unblockable, and if I have the villain tag, of course, I'm gonna put a degen on them 200%. So what does that mean? Well, Rhino goes unstoppable and or unblockable when he dashes. He's gonna go unstoppable when he dashes. He might go unblockable. But Magneto here goes unstoppable every time he fires off a heavy. So what you see me doing here, look up at the buffs that the opponent is getting. All right, he's up to five now. And I'm letting these stack up. Now, if you have void, or a high SIG Captain America Infinity War, you're familiar with this tactic if you ever had to deal with aggression regeneration before. The only difference here is that it's unstoppable that will give you the advantage. So no void uh, is needed. And of course, Captain America Infinity War can't be used. So just look at this. I've got 20 up there, right? Now watch this, boom, one heavy. Look at his health gone okay just that easy uh i was watching i think seaton and someone was like what is this magic you're doing with magneto um but that's what the node does all right and pretty much that's how you want to play it you don't want to hit them if you can help it because every time you hit them it takes away a stack but i could say for example i'm hurt I can heal up by doing frequent heavies and letting them heal up. But every time I do a heavy attack with Magneto, I go unstoppable and I'll have that stacking regen on me and I'll just keep healing all the way back up. You know, a, a good tactic to use if you are hurt. Uh, but Magneto and Rhino are definitely two of the MVPs for me for this chapter. And as you can see, it doesn't matter. You can use a two-star Rhino to clear this content. So no excuses. You don't need to be thrown breaker. You don't need to be cavalier. You don't even need to be uncollected. Actually, I'm not sure you might need that to uh, do the variant in the first place, but um, you don't need to have a high ranking Rhino. Um, I have the five star, he's ranked three just because uh, I'm an arena grinder and I like to have all my champions at rank three uh, or above just for that reason. All right, so as you can see, we're just tearing through this content, okay? Uh, now there are two fights coming up where you don't wanna use Magneto. You can, but it will be much more of a pain and we'll talk about it when we get there because i'll switch out and use uh rhino but rhino can do all of these fights easily all right so you see here he's being very aggressive you know he's got me in the corner and i'm just like okay back off and i just had to do that to get him away from me you know and so i'm just like all right let's just uh push him back you know calm him down a little bit and I'm trying to let it build up a little bit more, but he's not, just look at him, he just keeps attacking. String attacks. He's not backing off, he's not letting me uh, hit into his block, which is a technique that I've often used. And so I, I just had to put him down. You know, he was he was a rabid, that was a rabid AI, highly aggressive. Um, but it's all good, we were able to get him down. All right, now I'm going up, Again, that one star chest is usually an indication that this is the path Kabam considers to be the easy path. All right, so uh, I usually look for that path uh, anytime I do my initial clears. 
All right, so you see here, doing the same thing as I was doing before. Now, the thing with uh, Loki is he has a passive power gain. So you've got to be careful. You're going to have to bait things out, even though you haven't hit him or anything like that. You're going to still have to bait out specials. And you see, I'm hitting into his block. When you hit into their block, it does not reduce their charges. Only when you actually hit them, not just on contact. All right, so we got enough there. Fire off that heavy attack, do it again, put that specter on them, and boom, they are gone. Same tactics that you would use uh, with uh, Captain America Infinity War, especially. Uh, it used to be that Void and Captain America Infinity War were the two that um, were known to be able to reverse the regen, uh, and their petrifies are definitely not as strong as what we're putting on there. So it's guaranteed. All right, so this is the first one. Don't ask what happened there. I went for a parry, he just decided not to. And this was very frustrating. Just look at this, very frustrating. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? You know, this is the first time I'm bringing him out and it was just not responsive. I just kept getting hit, all right? So I'm trying to push him back because Rhino can do this. Okay, letting him, uh, you know, build up those stacks. Want to try to bait out this special from him. All right. Uh, and just look, he's he's going down still. And look at Rhino. From the brink of death, Rhino is healing up. Okay, boom. We still took him down. All right. I don't know what happened in the beginning there. It was very, very annoying. Um, this is why I was saying... Uh, I think in, in an earlier video that I had a lot of fun, but stuff like that kind of reduced my enjoyment a little bit. All right, here's another one. So let me tell you why you don't really want to use Magneto or why using Magneto against Colossus and Guardian are not so good, okay? They are metal. You know that Magneto will magnetize them and reduce their... Uh, ability accuracy. What that does is it will prevent them from getting those stacks of regen that makes this stuff so much fun. So that's why I'm using Rhino instead of Magneto. Now, full transparency, this is the third time I'm on this path. I actually reset it twice. I could have finished it. Um, I would have used a revive and, and kept going. Uh, and it was the next fight that I kept failing on, all right? So you see here, we're just taking him down. Not too difficult. You know, boom, boom, okay. Just keep going. He's regening a little bit. Um, I don't want to keep hitting him because that's just going to be counterproductive. So every time I go unblockable, it was kind of annoying, but he didn't even get a chance to finish that uh, final special there just collapse from exhaustion, all right? So that was that. And I've been here twice before. And with the dropped inputs, as you saw, I was having a rough time. Then I come to this Vision Arcus. Now, Magneto can do this fight without too much difficulty, but I didn't bother looking at the nodes but you'll notice that he's getting one regen. So at first I was like, okay, why am I not getting the stacking regen? All right, no problem. I'll just keep on, you know, doing the, you know, heavy, you know, attack, reducing their, you know, health. But I played it a little bit wrong. And one of the things that you can do, you can uh, fire off the heavy attack without making contact with them. Okay, so you see here, uh, I'm just not doing too well. Now right there, I did a heavy attack, but I didn't go unstoppable. I believe he hit me, is what happened. And that special two does so much damage even into my block, all right? And look at this, he's already back up, almost to full. Okay, so I wanna bait out the special ones, but he's getting a regen. So I did that, hoping to stop his um, power gain, but that didn't work, didn't stop his power game. And so now I'm just like, are you kidding me? 
So at this point, I'm like, look, I just need to keep firing off my heavy attack. That light attack that you saw there was supposed to be a heavy attack. Don't ask, don't know, all right? And so right here, I know what's gonna happen, but I got him down um, low enough that I should be able to finish him with Rhino. That was my thinking, okay? But that was so annoying. Uh, I've watched, uh, I think, KT1 do this fight. He made it look quite easy. Um, he's, he's quite good. Uh, but as you see here, now that I know, you know, that it's just that one, I'm just going to keep on rushing, getting unstoppable. And we took him down. So that was the first uh, champion that I fought uh, in this particular quest that gave me a little difficulty. Uh, but we got him down. And now we're going to be fighting Star-Lord. And again, uh, easy champion to fight. And again, we have that one, only a single uh, regen. Like I said, I didn't bother to look to see um, why they only had the one. They, they obviously don't have um, aggression regeneration, uh, but I didn't bother to look. So in this case, you just want to keep going unstoppable. That's it. You know, just keep going unstoppable. Now, one danger with Rhino is if you get caught in the corner, if you fight Rhino, you know that when you get him in that corner, that's when you can really tear him apart because he can't do his dash. Well, the same works against you. If you get trapped in that corner, then you can't dash and it's not a good time. You need to get out of that corner. Uh, so I was trying my best not to be in that corner. All right, so now, we are up to the boss. And I'm thinking, okay, what's going on now? Magneto is down. He is who I was planning on using against this Electro. And he can do this just fine. Remember, every time you fire off your heavy and get the unstoppable, you're going to heal. But Magneto is down. Only Rhino is there. Now, remember... Uh, in one of my previous videos, I told you that you can bring in a non-villain. Here we go. I sent in Wasp to basically do as much damage as she could. Now, look at her health. This is why you're not going to want to fight with a non-villain champion. Okay? But all I'm trying to do here is hurt him. That's it. Alright? And Wasp is doing quite well. All right, she did an excellent job. Took more than half his health down. Love my wasp. But any non-villain is going to fail in the end, including Corvus. Corvus's uh, cheat death will not function. All right, they shut that down. All right, so here we go. And really on this one, it's a little bit different. It's not aggression regeneration. Uh, on this one, you have um, the Arc Overload. So you're not going to be reversing anything until right, right there you have the Arc Overload. So you want to make sure you dash if you're using Rhino or go unstoppable while you have the Arc Overload active. So a little bit trickier, uh, a little bit slower than... Uh, the other fights where they had aggression regeneration and recovery and all of that. All right. But still, you know, pretty doable. All right. So you see, I'm trying to dash. Now, uh, Rhino, you notice that he keeps going unblockable. That's because of the size of his opponent. The smaller his opponent, the more likely he is to go unblockable. You know, and in this case, we would actually rather him just go uh, unstoppable uh, because every time we're hitting Electro we're taking damage but every time we go unstoppable we are getting that degen so we're healing it right back up but you don't want to go ham you don't want to just start going all aggressive and attacking him relying on that to heal you up okay you don't want to do that so here I just decided because it was taking a little bit too long i don't like long fights and i'm just like maybe that'll speed it up a little bit you know uh but rhino i i wouldn't want to 
take a two-star Rhino in here, but he could do the fight. But it will be a long fight. And uh, I cringe at even the thought of that. Okay. Um, but overall, this has been a, a pretty enjoyable uh, quest. All right. He's about to go down. All right. And as you see, boom, Electro is down. So that is going to do it, guys. Hopefully, this will help you out in your run. If you have a Rhino, any tier. Uh, if you have Magneto at any tier, uh, bring them. They are MVPs for this particular quest. All right, so take care. Leave a comment. Let me know whether it helped you. And uh, if you haven't given me a subscription, feel free to give me a subscription. And you all have a blessed day.